election. Tonight, we're just a little more than 100 days away from the November election. While there's still time to register to vote, the way you do it is going to be written in black and white and not on a tablet. Earlier today, state election commissioners dealt a setback to a get out the vote group that has used e-signatures. th 11s Rebecca Brown recaps the meeting where they made that call. Uh, uh, after a month-long battle between the people of Arkansas and the State Board Election Commission on the use of e-signatures, the board unanimously voted Monday to ban the use of electronic signatures for elections. The rule just establishes a clear line. That's really the way we've been doing it for the last decade, and you know we're trying to maintain the consistency and uniformity across the state. The decision already affecting groups like Get Loud Arkansas, who have used e-signatures since January and advocated against this rule. It is disappointing to see them just continue down this path of, you know, not embracing something that we know they could. Um, you know, it's unfortunate, but we're glad that people are still showing up and making their voice heard. We're not done. We're still fighting for this. State Board Election Commission Director Chris Madison says the new rule gained a lot of what he calls notoriety after receiving over 200 written comments about it. If people want to address their legislators about, you know, e-signatures or online, they, they have a session coming up in 25. As for now, Madison says the board is simply following what the Constitution says on when government entities can use e-signatures. And that's the Office of Driver Services and State Revenue Offices and all public assistance agencies and all disabilities agencies. And those are the only ones. But Kristen Foster, Deputy Executive Director for GLA, says this rule doesn't reflect what the people want. Our elections are supposed to be representative of the people of Arkansas. And so that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to give access to people and make it easier. Um, that should always be the goal, to keep our elections secure and accessible. And we can do both um, very clearly. In Little Rock, Rebecca Brown, THV 11 News. Rebecca, thank you. Lawmakers are expected to sign off on the regulations next month. If you need to register to vote, you can get an official application at your county clerk's office. You heard of those places that still have e-signature availability. You can also request or print forms online. The deadline is 30 days prior to the election, meaning Monday, October 7th, will be the deadline to vote for president this year.